Morning guys, we're on Thursday the 2nd of May and I've been spending all morning on the bank, some dodgy payment on my bank. Anyway, I'm going to try and boil some eggs in this um, machine. Now, um, if you go, where is it? Here, egg boiler. So it says, place two to six eggs, uh, medium, cold from the fridge. Mine are on the worktop, not in the fridge, so we'll see. So it says to place them in the bowl, which is like the jug. Um, then add the litre of water. Um, place them in a basket on the mixing bowl lid to prevent the water from splashing. Then close. Uh, choose desired cooking point to select to start the mode. So what do I, I don't want them rock hard. Partly soft yolk. So we're going to go for medium. So I'm going to take the um, jug out so I can see. And I'm also going to try the tip that I saw. So let me just put you on my, on my neck. Right. So I'm going to take the bowl out a minute. Now, I saw a tip where, let me move this out of the way, I've got too much crap in the way, where the lady smacked her eggs because they'd been naughty. No, she smacked the eggs right, but not enough to crack them. Because when I do eggs, and I'm sure some of you get it, you get like a round bit in the bottom where it's sort of dented in and then you've got to pull a membrane off. It's not like a perfect round egg, but she reckons, let's have a go, to tap it. I'm going to do both ends, don't know what end. Just like that. And then I'm just going to place it in the bowl. And then I'm going to do the same with that one. And once they're cooked and cooled, we'll peel one, see if we get a perfect egg. And that's that one. And then we've got to fill, fill the water up. To the max line. Right, that is the eggs. And it's filled up. So... I'm going to place that back on the machine and then put the lid on. And then I need to take the, um, I just put it on a self clean so it's got the measuring cup in it. Hang on, I'll take that out. Lid on, place that on top to stop the splashing. Right, so I believe all we need to do is turn that to medium. Oh, yeah, let's close the lids. And there we are, we're off. So I'm going to go and do my thing and leave that cook. I'm going to put them directly into cold water. Uh, when they finished and then I'll peel them when they've gone cold and we'll see what we end up with. I put it on a self clean this morning because I was too lazy last night. I didn't actually wash it out last night. My bad. And I put it on a self clean this morning. It took, 11, I think it was 11 minutes and it came sparkling clean. So yeah, those um, green lights will turn red as soon as it gets hot and i'm going to go and have a look in my freezer to see what meat i've got and then decide what we're going to have for our dinner tonight so i'll catch up with you a bit later on I haven't had breakfast not planning on any so i shall catch up with you in a bit guys time is up so right you take the simmering basket off. 
Right, again, I'm going to put the jug down here because I can't see. There's the eggs. I've actually got a jug of cold water here ready. I'm just going to use this spaghetti spoon um, to get them out. Oh, no cracked shells. Usually when I boil eggs, the shells have exploded, even in my egg cooker. Right, I've got ice cold water, no ice in there, but it's freezing cold. So I'm gonna leave those in there to cool down. Pull this uh, water out the jug. Be all right, if you want it to be a bit clean in the boiling water, mop the floor. Um, <clears throat> right, I'm going to stick that back in there for now. Put that on there. Turn it off. Right, there's my eggs. I'm going to leave them in there for five minutes and then change the water because it'll warm up while they're in there and I'll peel them in a bit. I'll use them for lunch. I might do my mother an egg sandwich for a lunch and I'll have the other one. Um, but yeah, right, I'm gonna go and have a dig in my freezer now. So I shall let you know what I'm gonna cook tonight. But I think it will be in this again. So yeah, boiled eggs. We'll see if they're perfect once they're cool. So guys, these are the eggs I cooked earlier. I'm gonna do um, an egg sandwich for my mum now. So, let's see if we have that perfect round egg and we don't have that dented in bottom that we get because I tapped them. Mm -hmm. Now this end is round. It's very soft. It's hard to tell with this one because it's breaking up. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? It's very soft anyway. My God. Let me try it with the second one just so you can see what I'm talking about. No, nope, that haven't gone to plan either. I think I'll just, I'll just throw a shell in there. Some of the eggs coming away with the shell. Yeah, these are these are too soft. These are. I'm going to hard boil them next time. Oh god damn you, egg! I'm put it in a bowl. Let me just crack it open. Oh yeah, that's too soft, that. That, I'm not going to eat that. That egg is more like 
one that you would have on yeah look do you know what they're perfect for mind if i'd known that i could have made some scotch eggs so i'm gonna give the dog a treat when i've got the rest of the shell off and then let him have those eggs because they are too soft to make my mother a sandwich but they are perfect for cooking and then peeling and putting straight onto some nice toast or something so that was a semi fail because i didn't cook them long enough but the dog's gonna have a nice treat now and my mother's going to get a cheese sandwich instead of an egg one. So I will boil some more eggs and I shall let you know the outcome of, uh, of how they go. But yeah, that hasn't really gone to plan, that one. But the dog will enjoy them. Look, you heard me say dog, he's getting ready. Right, I'll come back to you when I'm sorting out my lunch. Guys, I decided to use a few calories on my lunch today. So I have got a buttermilk chicken burger, which I took out the freezer, um, a brioche burger bun, there's some mozzarella grated cheese, there's some leaves in there and a bit of ketchup. And then I've got some Munster claws. So I will stick on screen the calories. The only thing I haven't had to count is the leaves on this one. So yeah, I've used some calories. So I've just nipped out to the shop to get a couple of bits I need for dinner, mushrooms and some cream. Yes, cream. I've got Dexter with me being stupid, so. And I've got a twister. It's a very frozen one, look. It's covered in ice. I'm gonna put some of that ice out the window. That's probably been in the freezer for 10 years. Um, it's 70 calories anyway. For a twister. Not bad twisters. Oh, twisters are well nice. They're, they're classic twisters. Yeah, for your generation. My generation. They've been around years, not they, twisters? That's well frozen, though. Knocking the ice off. Yeah, the freezer on them, minus 100 There's a really bad smell mm. where we are yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, like sewerage. Uh, Unless Dex has let one go. Besides, oh, it is smelling a bit right. I think it's that van. I want that van. I just picked up my mother a paper. Put the window so up, please. So we're going home now. Put the window up, please. Yeah, we are going to move because it is rather buzzing, but I've got a 70 calorie twister and I'm going home to make beef stroganoff and rice oh, so i'll catch you for dinner this is my dinner tonight i have done beef stroganoff with rice i will stick the calories on screen all i've had to count is um some single cream and olive oil everything else that has gone into the meal is zero count so yeah that is dinner forgot to say i've also got a braces roll with some light spread in it to dip in the sauce but all the calories will be on screen previously so that meal was really nice i'll make that again um right i want something sweet to eat i think i had 222 left i'm having one of these it's frozen 185 calories so i'm gonna make it last it's just gone nine o'clock um it leaves me with about 37 calories which is fine so not planning on going anywhere as yet tomorrow because I've got quite a lot of um, deliveries coming of stuff I've ordered. I've ordered some spices which I think are coming, so I'll show you those. Um, and I've ordered more bits for Dexter for his trip. So yeah, I'm finishing my day with a Turkish delight and I'll catch you all tomorrow on the next one.